Welcome to Exact Education. The purpose of this video is to explain the operation of a step up transformer. What we have is a transformer here, 120 turns on the input, 625 on the output. The ratio of turns gives us 5.2, so the output voltage should be 5.2 times the input voltage. What we've got going in is if we look at the meter here, we've got 4.3 volts RMS going in. We've got a current of 0.52 amps going into the primary. We have current of 100 milliamps, 0.1 amps on the output side. We have 20.1 volts coming out. We have two voltmeters here. This is to demonstrate different build qualities, different manufacturers will give you slightly different results in terms of measuring voltages and currents. I would suggest that this meter is probably the more accurate and we will take that reading of 20.1. So what we have, if we multiply our input voltage of 4.3 multiply it by 5.2 that would suggest that we should have a voltage coming out of 5.2 of 22.3 volts coming out why have we not got 22.3 volts coming out well we've got the circuit connected on load with two 100 ohm resistors if we disconnect the load what's going to happen the voltage, the output voltage goes up, there's clearly zero output current. Why does the voltage go up? We're now on no load, the output coil has a resistance, so what we've got here is internal resistance on the output circuit, and we have a voltage drop of approximately 1.9 volts through the output coil. So that is what we would term a copper loss. So what we're saying is the no load voltage, which we are anticipating based on the turns ratio of 4.3 times 5.2, we should have voltage coming out 22.36. So we're, we're slightly below that. And that's because we have losses in the system. We have core losses in the metal of the core, eddy current, hysteresis loss, and we will not have 100% of the magnetic field from the primary converted into the secondary. So we'll have flux leakage loss as well. If we look at the power in figures, what we have to work out efficiency, we've got power in, 4.3 times 0.52 gives us 2.24 watts going in. We've got an output of, we'll connect the load in, we've got an output voltage of 20.1, it's been approximated to 20.0 and 0 0.0996 milliamps, which is 100 milliamps. So if we multiply those two together, that gives us 2.0 watts coming out. So we have a loss. So power out is less than power in. So we have efficiency based on those figures of 2 over 2.24. We get 89, 90% efficiency. So we've got approximately 10, 11% of losses in the system. So where do those losses come from? As discussed, Losses in the system, we have core loss of hysteresis, which is a non-linear effect in, in the core in terms of magnetizing and demagnetizing, results in heat loss. We have currents induced in the metal core. We can minimize them by laminating the core, but we will have eddy current, so that results in heat loss. We'll have copper losses in the primary and secondary coils. Why? Because we have current flowing Input coil has a resistance, output coil has a resistance, so that will give us copper losses of I squared R. Not all 
the magnetic flux from the primary will link into the secondary so we'll have leakage flux losses as well. In terms of voltage regulation at 100 milliamps, no load voltage 21.9, load voltage 20.0, that gives us a voltage regulation of a difference of 1.9 volts, that gives a voltage regulation of 8.7% at 0.1 amps. How can we demonstrate the process of linking the magnetic flux? Magnetic fields don't propagate through the air very well, so we need a metal core so that the magnetic field is concentrated through the metal and links into the output coil. Given that we've got hysteresis and eddy core losses, why do we have a metal core? If we don't have a metal core, then we won't have very good magnetic flux linkage and we can demonstrate that by removing this clip and breaking the magnetic path through the metal what we can see now is we still have a voltage coming out it's no longer what's expected it's now only four volts why would that be is because the magnetic field is not going through the metal this path is broken. What we've now got is a north and south across this air gap here, which will be constantly reversing due to the 50 Hz frequency. We can see the magnetic forces involved when we close that, and you, you can actually feel the force. If you move the coils apart even more, the output voltage goes down even more because there's less and less flux linkage output to sorry input to the output coil so if we want good magnetic linkage between input and the output then we need to have a metal core i hope this video has been informative thank you for watching